We are Julie and Martin and we live on our narrowboat Rhapsody in Blue. Join us on our journey as we go through some stunning scenery, tunnels, we meet wildlife on the way, as we cruise the inland waterways of the UK. So hi everyone, Morning. we're just about to leave the lovely Blakemere which you can probably see behind us um, and we're going up to we think somewhere called is it Bettersfield or the pre -Sarm. oh yeah we could go to the pre -Sarm. Sarm. we'll see when we get there um, we'd like to say a big thank you to all our viewers and subscribers we've noticed that we've had quite an influx lately haven't we oh yeah brilliant yeah so thank, thank you, you very much yeah, thank, thank you, you it's support. lovely lovely brilliant. to have you with us mm. yeah so we've done all the checks Martin's got the boat ready we're just about to untie our ropes and we'll be off. So yeah, this is one last look at Blakemere. Let's go down and have a quick look. Be careful because there's lots of wet leaves. How gorgeous is this? Waking up to this every morning has been absolutely gorgeous. We're really going to miss this place. We say that most of the time when we leave a mooring because it's just stunning on the Llangollen Canal. But yeah, let's, uh, let's be going up to uh, new moorings. I'll take some footage on the way. Give us a smile, Martin. <laughs> so, yeah. Beautiful place. like me sunny day but that wind is bitingly cold it's not not very warm today it says it's going to go up to about 10 or 11 degrees so double figures but it doesn't feel like it <laughs> Oh, 
we're just doing about an hour's hour and a half journey today we need to get water because we're very low and we need to do some washing so yeah we definitely need some water it's been gorgeous at Blakemere it's been so lovely to wake up to that lovely view but it's time for us to move on now Spring is literally around the corner. It's the 15th of February today. So it's a glorious day. And we're starting to see the first signs of spring. We can see buds on the trees. And the birds are just singing their little hearts out. It's gorgeous. Just coming up to a winding hole you can just see here that's where you would turn the boat if you needed to we did actually do that last oh, couple of weeks ago we turned and went back to Ellesmere but that's it now we've left Ellesmere we're not going back to Ellesmere we are working our way down Grindley Brook staircase locks are still closed at the moment because they're doing some work on the bridge above on the actual highways but they've got their scaffolding under the bridge so boats can't pass so we're just waiting for that to clear which is on the 20th of February so another five days but we're gonna find somewhere to moor up for a few days now so that we we're not gonna go on the 20th we're gonna let the mad rush go through <coughs> first oh you rat bag <laughs> you rat bag <laughs> he's got that devilish grin again Got that devilish grin. <laughs> this boat up here probably wonders what the hell's coming along. <laughs> Maybe jump. Look at this here. Lovely, isn't it? This forest. Oh, look at this stunning place. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Lovely place. Right next to the canal. It sounds like spring, it's gorgeous. This looks a lovely mooring as well. Got a bench. The trees. So this is Colmere. If we look to the right, we should see an expanse of water. Yep. And that's Colmere. There's quite a few mirrors around here. In fact, 
I can see. Oh, I don't know if you can hear, but there's a woodpecker in a tree. It's very loud. To be there. Don't know if you heard that. It's like a mirror. Look at the reflection of those trees. Wow. Just hearing the birds is just, ah, oh, so wonderful. <coughs> I had a feeling you might need to do that. <laughs> Couldn't quite see through the bridge. <laughs> see the little door there. That's for the stock planks, where they keep stock planks next to the bridges in case there's a, a breach and they have to close a section of canal. They are specially adapted narrowboats um, for people you know, with wheelchairs or that are less able-bodied, um, just so that everybody gets a chance to use the canals. Absolutely fantastic place. They're specially adapted to allow wheelchair access, um, wider walkways, etc. inside. Fantastic and they do holidays, so definitely worth looking up. So this is on the Van Gogh and Canal, obviously. They say, lineal trust, making ho holidays accessible for everyone. How cool is that? so much wildlife here. Bridge 52 and I believe we're going down to Bridge 48 or just after Bridge 48 is where we get our water and then we'll see what it's like there when we get there. How further on we go.
Oh, it's so open here. Look at this. Beautiful. See for miles. Hello. Hi guys. Did you recognize the hooter? <laughs> Is it? Oh, I'd love to hear that. Something we said. <laughs> After this bridge, we should see the water point. Bridge number 48. And it's on the opposite side to the towpath, so it'll be on the right hand side apparently. Looks like it's clear. That's cool. It's just here. Go and put some washing on. Yep, so we're all full of water, we've got rid of our rubbish, and we're now off to find a nice mooring so we can moor up for about a week or so until the stoppage is cleared. So that'll be good. As you know, the Grindley Brook locks have been closed for winter, so we've been stuck on the same stretch of canal. However, this closure is due to be lifted, so for next week's vlog, we thought we'd take the opportunity to answer some of your questions as we cruise towards it. If you have a question for us, please pop it in the comments below and we'll do our best to answer them all. That'd be great. We've obviously been cutting trees down here. Fresh cut wood, mate, we're gonna cut all this down. Mm. Yeah, there's a really lovely smell in the air and we think it might be the freshly cut wood and looks like they may have cut the grass or the edges too but it smells lovely beautiful big tree look at that gorgeous yeah it's so nice We've got rid of all our rubbish, we filled up with water, and Martin's even had a shower. <laughs> Smell like, like a rose today. And I managed to do the washing, didn't I? Yep. Got a wash on. So oh, the no. boat smells lovely at the minute. All the washing hanging round. And we're on our way to the pre -sum. We're hoping, fingers crossed, that we get a morning, aren't we? Yeah, it's getting very busy now. I mean, the, uh, the Grindley Brook, Closure 
is almost to an end, so people are starting to make their way down that way now. Yes. So obviously this part of the canal is beginning to fill up a little bit, ready for people. But when Brinley Brook opens, yeah, we can go through. We've heard that Whitchurch is packed, so we're sort of trying to hang back a bit, but we need to move forward, if you know what I mean. So yeah, so we're hoping to make it to Priest and get more done. Cool. Watch where the front's going, please. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea there. Why don't you have to that tree, really? Oh, what, this little tiny tree here? This little tiny tree here. <laughs> you don't know what's underneath the water, you know? <laughs> Just turning onto the pre arm. I think we might be mooring along here. Sorry if I sound out of breath, but I'm very unfit. <laughs> and I just had to find the lift bridge up. So yeah, hopefully we're gonna moor up along there somewhere. That'd be good. Oh, it's a beautiful day. And here comes the marking. <laughs> and through he goes. These are quite impressive structures, these bridges, you know. 